Today I'll be giving you guys 15 essential items that you will need raising a newborn. My mind's different, you better pay attention. It's fear on a beat, I need my recognition. On my darkest days, thought it was no way. But now I'm counting rice and I got my own sleigh. Now listen. What's up YouTube, it's Yasafi and I'm back in another video. Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Now if you know, you've been following my channel. I do have a five week year old. Well, she's six weeks now. Story Rose. I love my baby. So all the items that I talk about, don't worry, I got y'all. It'll be linked down in the description box and I'm gonna put a little picture up here so y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna say is the bottle warmer. I have the Avent bottle warmer. It is a lifesaver. Obviously you want your baby to have warm milk, it's cold milk and room temperature milk. It's just not as soothing to the gums. You know what I'm saying? So having a bottle warmer is so nice for the baby. Um, it heats up the bottles like this very, very quickly. Make sure you guys go get you a bottle warmer for sure the next thing you're gonna need is a wipe warmer now at first I didn't know how I felt about a wipe warmer I'm like hmm, maybe maybe not is it an essential I feel like it really is an essential because when your baby is like half sleep just doesn't want to get their diaper changed and then you throw a cold wipe on their private area just think about yourself like will you take a wet cold washcloth and put it down there imagine how that feel no it's better on the baby's skin it just feels better for her I'm team wipe warmer so number three is going to be a boppy pillow I use this every single day all these essentials I literally use every single day I just switched angles so I could keep y'all attention because this stuff is important the boppy pillow or the nursing pillow is very important because whether you're breastfeeding or bottle feeding you can literally lay your baby across the pillow and feed the baby like that or you can sit them up prop them so that they can feel like they're sitting on their own the boppy Boppy pillow is a life saver. You can take it everywhere. You can remove the cloth on it, the fabric that's on top of it, remove it. It's washable and it's not big, bulky, take up a lot of space. I love the boppy pillow. So if you don't have a boppy pillow, I think you need to go get a boppy pillow for sure. All right, so the next thing is a formula holder. I actually showed this in my last video. I have the stackable formula dispenser, which I'm going to put a picture right here. Link down in the description. So this I really, really love because you can use it and take it anywhere. You measure out your formula, pour it in the stackable holder. After that, you just take it wherever. I also put it in her diaper bag for on the go. So the formula is already separated and you don't have to worry about hauling a big can of formula with you because who wants to do that not me work smarter not harder you will literally learn this if you have not learned this all your life you will learn it as a parent for sure baby bottle drying rack i have a baby bottle drying rack it's a vertical one vertical is like this horizontal is like this the reason why i like the vertical drying rack is because it takes up less counter space as opposed to if you have the horizontal one it takes up more space on the counter so i just feel as though the vertical one is better it holds a lot of things i like it i just like the look of it better too silk and satin sheets now this one is extremely important so when you're dealing with a baby their hair is fragile everything about them is fragile you don't want them to lose hair because they can quickly lose hair my baby had cradle cap a lot of babies lose hair off cradle cap that's untreated so you want to have satin sheets Satin sheets just make sure that their hair is not getting pulled because when their hair is on cotton and different fabrics, it easily pulls out their hair. So I invested in satin sheets for my baby um, on her crib, which is behind me, on her bassinet. She has silk sheets and I even have the silk strips. She has a play chair, but then I put the silk strip where her head is so that when she rubs her head, it's still good. Everything's good because she has silk behind her so definitely get some silk sheets even if you don't want all your sheets to be silk you can get cotton but at least get that satin strip thing piece so that you could wrap it around her um mattress or whatever okay so this is number seven a bedside bassinet with wheels you guys and i'm gonna tell you why you're gonna be waking up with your baby for a long time let's just say some months and months you're gonna be waking up with your baby so you need easy access so you want to get you a bassinet now i have the baby joy bassinet and it rolls so i could roll her into this room i could roll her into another room i could roll her throughout the whole crib if i want to it has brakes on it it rocks so you could rock it it has a rocking feature and one side of it pulls down so you can be even closer to your baby 
if you know you know the next one is a humidifier now babies have very small nasal passages and they're always gonna be stuffy even if they're not sick they always have some type of <laughs> stuffiness you know so you have to be able to moisturize the air the air needs to be moisturized because if they have dry air it's just gonna make it worse i don't know the whole science behind it but i just know moisturized air is better than dry air when it comes to babies i got her a nice little green one it comes with a night light and y'all know green is my favorite color i don't know green might be her favorite color or she might be tired of green once she grow up to be honest because i pretty much buy everything green that i can find if i can find it for her <laughs> the next one is the diaper genie i don't know anybody who has a baby and hasn't had a diaper genie so for those of you who don't know what a diaper genie is it's basically a diaper garbage can you strictly just put diapers in there it holds the scent really well so your room won't be smelling like diapers and shit and doo-doo <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next thing is a rolling cart and when I say a rolling cart I mean a cart that has like three different tiers to it and you could put your bottles the diapers the Bottle warmer the white warmer just anything that you need Immediately for the baby and keep that right next to your bedside. You can easily just Grab from it do what you got to do with your baby everything that I use daily right on the cart and it's super super convenient okay so this next one is a bath flower so instead of the baby being in like a bathtub or whatever other tubs they have out there for babies it's this foam flower that i put story in i absolutely love it because i could just prop her up on the leaf it's a foam flower like i really don't know how to explain it but click the link down in my description and it'll pop up you'll see it and i'll try to put a video right here of what it is but yeah i really like that thing and story does too if my list is helping you out make sure you like this video i want to see how many people i'm helping out today so the next thing is the hygiene kit so i have a hygiene kit it comes with a multitude of things medicine dropper a nail clipper a brush for the hair a toothbrush even though she's not gonna need no toothbrush no time soon a thermometer a room thermometer that bag has a lot of things so make sure you have a hygiene kit to take care of your baby's needs you won't regret it white noise machine i said this in my last video i don't know how i truly feel about the white noise machine but i do think it's a necessity it's a necessity for me anyway when my baby is really fussy and all her needs are met she's fed diaper change and i pretty much did all i could do to soothe her i pick her up and i take the white noise machine i rock her back and forth i walk up and down throughout the house just to get her to calm down and that white noise machine the noise sound of it it really calms her down and puts her to sleep it does work sometimes it don't work all the time though don't think oh you're not gonna hear no crying you're gonna hear crying every single day for years okay years wake up the next thing is a play mat this is number 14 play mat is super important and i say this it's a necessity it's essential because you want your baby to properly develop you want to always stimulate their brain every single day tummy time music sounds colors visuals hands help them grab things even though they're newborns and they can't really grab things i bought my baby a little it's like a teething toy but she can put her hands around it and open and close them. Lay your baby down on their stomach for tummy time until they cry. Now, if you know, you've been following my channel. I do have a five week year old. Well, she's six weeks now. Story Rose. I love my baby. Lay them on their back while they kick at the piano and look at the little toys that's falling down until they cry. Like, make sure that you are stimulating your baby's head every single day because that's how they're gonna hit their milestones and that's how they're gonna grow and be a healthy baby. And number 15, the last but not least, is a camera, a baby monitor. I don't care how small your apartment is, I don't care how big your house is, how small your house is, you wanna have a camera because if you're not in that room and you wanna keep tabs on your baby, easy prop up that camera so you can see your baby's every move make sure she's still breathing make sure she's not tossing and turning in the wrong direction make sure she's not standing up getting out of her crib i keep saying she but this goes for boy or girls because i have a she it's just automatic baby monitor is a necessity okay that's all i have for 15 essential items that you need for a newborn if you guys like this video make sure you like comment subscribe comment down below what other videos you want to see from me and i'll see you guys soon bye
Washing both hands of all the pain that you left. Throw it in the dirt, gotta lay this shit to rest.